For this, for this enterprise so far, what I can say, basically on the youth, we look at uh, job creation. Most of the youth, they were rotating around and they were saying that they, they don't have jobs. But now you can find that that someone, that someone and somewhere, he has got what to do in a, in a group. We, we give them maize as you are seeing here, and they grow and they make them busy. Yeah, one. It is from membership contribution or subscription. Then two, it is from the, the other grants or NGOs like this maize. We work with other NGOs like One Acre Fund and they give uh, our farmers maize and they grow on loan. The challenges we face in accessing the, the finance, well, it, it is limited funds. Oh, we are limited to funds or to loans. The kind of investment we need in our enterprise one, we need the uh, funds. Then two, we need uh, like uh, on the side of agriculture, we need uh, machines, which which can be used with with these farmers because now they are using this local and local method the holes. 
So if we can get more investment towards the mechanization and we go to mechanization agriculture, also towards irrigation because we need to, to, to go in two seasons. But now we are forced to, to, to go in one season with longer rain because this next season we, we don't always base on it because the rain is always little. The technical assi assistant, the project requires one, is we need to uh, look at it, the transport transport means. We need a uh, transport like uh, the truck when especially these uh, these members they are done with growing their their maize to transport the products from the garden to the area where it can be kept. Two, we need uh, we need uh, the staff to be paid salary. But for now, we don't have a paid staff because of the limited limited finances. Then two, also we need the office equipments like uh, laptops, like uh, projectors, and so many other equipments which make up the the offices. And also on the, 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 the side of extension to do the extension services, we need uh, motorcycles for the extension to, to go on. This African Farmers Federation, the, the impact it has put in our business, he invited us in a, a training which was uh, in Kono, helped us to do uh, to rate the proposal, the project proposal. So that's why it has helped us to improve on our project still knowing how to write a proposal. My name is Guamiki Mathias. We get foundation seeds from Nalo Research Center to our groups. Uh, we have another NGO called ISSD, Integrated Seed Development Sector, International Seed Development Sector. They help us to train the steps on how to grow foundation seeds. So after paying our money from the farmers to the Nalo, we get foundation seeds to the center of the group. Most of the markets, they have fake seeds. We are facing a biggest challenge of getting fake seeds. You grow one acre and you fail to get the production you want. The only challenge we have is other inputs needed in the garden, like fertilizers, uh, labors, and the other things needed. Because now we are still growing at a small scale. We want to grow at a commercial farm. Our call to the government is to give us access for the null organizations to come and make researches from our area to see what is needed to our environment, such that their product can be favorable with the environment. Tina, mama, mama, wait till